in result of comprehensive selection, the MiG-29 and Su-27 naval modifications became the main ship basing contenders. In order to train pilots, the Suhoi Design Bureau offered the Su-25 UTG trainer made on the basis of a cheap and simple land-based attack aircraft. While pilots were trained at Nitka, the ship was ready. Changing several names by 1989, it carried the signed Bilisi on board. On October 27, an Su-27K piloted by Viktor Pugachev and the MiG-29K piloted by Tokhtar Aubakirov appeared above the ship. Tests on flyby, passes along the deck, passes and touchdowns went on. On November 1, 1989, both aircraft, as usual, were going in circles, imitating landing. Tell Pugachev, let's work. This time I'll land. Got you. Arresting gears ready. Landing weight 20 tons. Arresting gears ready. At 1.46 p.m., Viktor Pugachev brilliantly landed his Su-27K on the deck. It was the first in Russia landing of an ordinary aircraft on the ship. Greeting the pilot, everyone almost forgot the other aircraft. After a short while, MiG-29K of Tokhtar Aubakirov landed on deck as well. There was always a competition between Mikoyan and Suhoi corporations. The first landing of Su-27 gave a lead to the Suhoi corporation. On the same day, parity was restored. Tokhtar Aubakirov was the first to take off his MiG from the ship's sky jump. On the same day, the Su-25 UTG landed on deck. It was piloted by Alexander Krutov and Igor Botinsov. Aircraft naval versions have specific distinctions from the base versions. A stronger landing gear, an arresting hook, a folding wing for a compact ship basing. <laughs> 